Hey, this is Jared and you are watching Back Road Exploration. It's places like this that make vehicle dependent remote travel so interesting to me. For as long as I can remember, I've always been drawn to remote places. This portion of the San Rafael Swell is chock full of beautiful overlooks, stunning mountain ranges, and a desert landscape that is bursting with color. If all of that wasn't enough, the terrain changes frequently from white gray sand colored moonscape to the deep, rich red rock that Utah is famous for. On this adventure, we set out on our first overland trip as a family of six, and it just feels right. to admit it's places like this that drive me coming back to the San Rafael Swell over and over again. We've got the entire family out on this trip which I'm so excited for. We've got our new trailer which has been really really nice and it's going to make this camp trip even better. And look at these views. They are just it's blowing my mind. Every little undulation and rock that I see, it looks you're like, oh, hey, that rock. And then you're like, oh, that rock is like a massive boulder mountain. And there's like another 150 foot drop below it. This is just crazy. I would love to camp here. I'm definitely going to mark to come back. There's some pretty sheer cliffs right here. And with the kids, I just don't want to be worrying about telling them to get away from the edge over and over again. So we're going to find another spot that's probably a little bit safer. But the views here, mind-boggling. Today was the last day of school and we just jumped in the rig after and made our way down to the San Rafael Swell. We've pulled off in an area near the Muddy Creek Wilderness area. That's what that big drop canyon that I showed you just a little bit is. And today we are on our maiden voyage with our new 1965, and by new I mean to us, 1965 military trailer that's been converted into an off-road overland trailer. Really excited about this. It's going to be a game changer for our family. Uh, you know, we had the new baby. This is her first camping trip. And I always knew going into getting the GX that we were going to have to move to a trailer because we needed a third row vehicle so we could have a kid in the back. And then with, you know, there's just not enough storage room there. We probably could make it work by cramming like a hundred boxes on top of the GX. But I have to admit, man, it was so nice not having to tie down things on top of the GX. Uh, and interestingly enough, our miles per gallon is looking really similar pulling the trailer versus just having bins up on top of the GX. So, you know, it's been interesting. Uh, I'm going to open it up and, you know, just kind of start setting up camp. This is an all new world for us. What do you think of that, Molly? Big playpen up there for you, huh? Yeah, we're trapped in here, guys. Oh. She likes it. Yeah. Oh. This is our first time ever having a rooftop tent. And I have to admit, one of the things that I'm liking is that is a big area that we can put Millie in and zip up and she can crawl around. I'm not worried about her, you know, falling out of it, but then she's also not in the dirt. You know, because right now she's basically in the holder stage or crawling around, and obviously she's not crawling around on this dirt and rock. But really beautiful campsite here. The view this direction is magnificent, and you can see the big canyon drop off overlook that way. I think we'll probably go do a little hike up and go check out one of the other viewpoints up there before we do anything else. But man, pretty epic. Check this out.
Now, if you want to see a full like walk around overview of the trailer, I'm going to have a video on that that will launch before this. So you can go check my backlogs and check that video out. But if you've been a follower of the channel long, you know that like my camp setup is pretty tight and Spartan. Like I don't bring a lot of extra things and having this much space, we've got like an extra, you know, light that we don't normally bring. We brought a whole extra thing of water. Um, even though it has its own onboard water, we brought extra just in case like, man, and I've already got a bunch of ideas of things that I want to do. Even just having this cool table that, you know, it mounts in the clamshell portion of the, you know, top of the trailer, you pull it out, it hooks on with these cool clamps, gives us a nice big platform there, way bigger than any platform I've ever had for my stove with space to spare. So man, I'm just like feeling like I've got so much space, uh, which is really cool. Lauren's working on burritos. Uh, the table, if you've watched my videos, I'm always like bending over cooking because our table that we've been cooking off of for a long time, super low. And this platform up here is nice. It's almost like chest level. It's a nice, easy cooking platform. We've got a little bit of a storm coming in, so we're going to try to eat. I don't know if we're going to get rain on or not. It's probably 50-50 chance. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> So for dinner tonight, we're eating some beef, bean, and cheese burritos. What I love about this meal is it's really quick. You can pre-cook the meat, so it's just warming it up. Then obviously, you know, refried beans, just heating that up. It's a nice, quick meal. Probably took us, what, 20 minutes or something, maybe less yeah, to cook. Yeah. So nice, we're trying to eat before that rain starts to roll in. did our first night last night in the tent. Um, from my research before, I heard people say that, you know, if you're a back sleeper, the eye camper is fine, but the, the pad is not quite soft enough if you sleep on your side. I definitely sleep on my side. And they're right, it's not quite soft enough. So I slept pretty good, but not like amazing. We're gonna have to look at, you know, if we're gonna replace the mattress or maybe, you know, just kind of add some reinforcement upgrade into there. But it was really windy last night, stormed a little bit, and I was very impressed with how stable it was, way less flapping than a regular tent, which is not necessarily something I was expecting, but was really nice. Uh, it is looking very cloudy and gloomy and dark today. So we will see what it all ends up being like, but uh, it looks like we're gonna have overcast skies probably for the whole day. It doesn't look like we'll get tons of rain. I think it'll just be little sprinkles here and there. But man, the, this we're kind of out on a little bit of an end of a kind of a little plateau and there's just beautiful views in all directions of us. We've got sausage and eggs cooking, and then after those are done on the griddle, we'll get some pancakes going. Man, it smells so good. Bye. We've got breakfast all wrapped up and Man, having like this big kitchen is like twice as big of any kitchen we've ever had on any of our adventures. It's awesome having that water pump there, the, you know, for just getting dishes clean faster and everything. So really excited about that. Uh, we're loving this campsite. So for today, I think we're gonna leave the trailer here and there's a bunch of trails along the rim of this canyon that I wanna go check out a few different overlooks 
and do a bunch of exploring and then you know sometime later this afternoon slash evening we'll make our way back to here. Well, we made it to Sedgar's Hole Overlook, and man, it is really cool. This would make a great campsite too. Probably not one we wanna do with the kids because it is a pretty good cliff right here, but man, it is beautiful, and we really are basically on the opposite side of the canyon we're at before. Now, you can't see, I don't think, rim to rim here because there's kind of like a, I don't know, almost like a dragon's back in the middle of it of rocks that kind of comes up, so, uh, but geez, the views here are absolutely stunning there this would be a great spot for you know multiple people to camp there's a couple different fire pits and uh you know enough room for multiple rigs but this is a really really beautiful spot and i can see some trails down in there i believe that there's a hiking trail that goes from near hondo arch all the way through this big huge um canyon through the muddy creek wilderness and you can loop back all the way back to itself um, I've, I've at least seen it on maps. I think it would be one that would be cool to check out and do sometime. Um, soak up these views. that runs right along the edge of these cliffs looking into Sedgar's Hole. And we're making our way between one overlook to the last overlook that I have marked for this particular section of the trail. And, you know, it's cool. It's, it's pretty tight. You can see there's stuff growing in the middle. It's, you can tell this is a trail. It gets visited, but it doesn't get a ton of traffic, especially after that last little point where we turned around. Ever since then, the trail's gotten narrower and not near as much traffic as some of the other spots that we've been on today. Really, really pretty. It's unreal. So we camped way over on that other side and we've basically just been looping around the rim of this incredible canyon. The rock formations are amazing. There's multiple places where the trail's right next to the edge and a bunch of these little peninsulas come out looking out over edges of the canyon like this for incredible overlooks you know not necessarily super suitable for if you're going to be camping with small kids where you're worried about them falling off of a cliff uh but i'm going to be back because there's some epic campsites in here you know what do you think of this spot you could use the rocks for steps yeah see if you can climb up on the top over there Yeah, this would make a good campsite, huh? Yeah, we could have been, we could have got here. Well, we just stopped for lunch, and this, um, it's making me wish we would have brought the trailer. This is a pretty cool little camp spot. Uh, in fact, this rock formation behind us, the kids have just been climbing all over it, just really enjoying it. And it, it's quite pretty, probably be decently sheltered from the wind, too, uh, with this rock right here. But... Anyways, we're just going to eat some lunch and then we're going to keep making our way along this rim, kind of doing some loop back. Eventually we'll hit a trail that we were on yesterday that then will be only a couple of miles of backtracking. We're kind of doing like almost like a figure eight, except we're not doing the bottom half of the figure eight today. So uh, we'll get back to the bottom portion of the figure eight probably tomorrow. It's starting to rain. Yep. Right now we're just kind of hitting this little alcove, right? Yeah. 
have our little uh, shelter from the rain. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this spot, miss? Good. You like it? Yeah. How's this camping trip been so far? Good. What's been your favorite part? Mm, the part where I climbed the rocks over there. Okay, what's been your least favorite part? Mm, nothing's my least favorite part. Nothing. I thought she was going to say being in the third row in the back. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like that, huh? Part two of this adventure is coming soon, so please make sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.